completely. Time for the last of our quarterfinal matches then, and this one is sure to get the crowd fired up because we're about to see the world number one versus a young archer who's on fire this season, and Rome just happens to be his hometown. It's going to go off here in the Estadio del Marmi in a few seconds' time. Walking onto the field of play to take his position on target number one. Representing Korea, the world number one. And the winner in 2012 of this competition, Kim Woo Jin. to the field of play for this young archer representing Italy from Rome raises his arms like a gladiator David Pascalucci now he's here because Italy are the host nation but he could easily have qualified as of right Steve he's a cracking young archer yeah I didn't see where he finished up on the season but he, uh, he shoots well I'm not surprised to see him here, whether it's by qualification or, or host selection. He's got a better arrow average on the year than, than a few of the archers we've seen already. Sure, and part of the um, Italian men's team who took gold in Antalya earlier in the year, and an individual bronze in, in that stage of the World Cup as well. Correct, so yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing on the world rank or excuse me, the World Cup rankings, he wasn't too far out of this position anyhow. So here's his first arrow in front of the home crowd. That'll be desperate for him not to disappoint. Last <laughs> time yet. take long for the world number one to find a center. Another eight for Pascalucci. So 28 points for Kim Woo Jin. Three eights, and those arrows spread quite widely around the target. Steve two off to the left and one off to the right, surrounding but not hitting the gold. Yeah, he looked like he had some nerves there, a little bit of shaking going on. And He'll uh, hopefully calm down and put forth some good arrows. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the home crowd will want to cheer him on, and they, uh, you were saying earlier this morning that he's perhaps, maybe with the exception of Tony Oli yesterday, the best prospect for an Italian archer to go deeper into this right. yeah, and, competition. And, you know, I just checked on some of the World Cup rankings. He was actually only one spot out of being the eighth archer anyways, so it's not like they had to pull from real you know they, they weren't getting him from the bottom of the barrel absolutely he's got a bright future ahead of him but uh, he won't want to look too far ahead than this match because he needs to focus now he's two behind Still in the not quite happening for him yet yeah, and there is a, a bit of a right to left breeze going on so I just need to adjust to that. Yeah, the sun's gone in and the clouds are filling up the sky a little bit. And the yeah, we saw Kim Woo Jin, his first arrow straight out the left as well. There you go, in the gold. Better 
from Pascalucci. Really need to turn now, Pascalucci. It's close into the goal for the first time. 26. Kim Woo Jin with an open door for a four sets to zero lead, and he gets it. He's got a smile on his face, and Pascalucci, I suspect, will be a little worried now. Yeah, he's going to want to go nab a point. Don't, don't go down in three sets in front of the home crowd. Absolutely. To break it down even further, he just needs to think about getting some, getting some tens in. Shoot a ten. Yeah. And he'll shoot first again um, in this third set, um, which means he's not at least chasing right. what yeah. Kim has had to do. Right. Great to hear. It must be great to hear all those people cheering for you, willing you on. Creates his own pressure, of course, but yeah, you kind of have to break energy. it down and realize they don't. They, they're cheering for you because of who you are, not because you might beat the guy. They don't really care if you do or not. They're still gonna like you. So if you can get past that, it helps settle you down a bit. That's better. Still yet to find the ten. Yeah. And Wu Jin has two in the match now. If he can just draw this set with the Korean archer, that would give him something, wouldn't it? Scalucci with a seven. Poor shot by his own standards to finish his match because surely Kim Woo Jin cannot miss here. A nine, and it's a 6-0 win for Kim Woo Jin. He had too much for Pascalucci in the end. The young Italian couldn't quite deliver in front of his hometown crowd. He's got many more World Cup opportunities to come in his way in the future, you feel. But he bows out here, and it is the world number one and current world champion who's into the semi-finals of the 2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup. Very relaxed performance from, from Kim Woo Jin there. Didn't, was not put under any kind of pressure whatsoever. No, he never really had his foot on the gas pedal. Um, I mean, meaning he never, I don't think he ever really hit his stride, but he didn't make any mistakes either. Just kind of a, probably a vanilla round by his standards. I mean, the man has shot 700 points, you know. Yeah. He's, he's accustomed to putting him in the 10 with regularity.
So now we know our semi-final 